Hello guys, I'm Zero from 190 welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to show you one of the most slowest, painfulest deaths that you can do to your buddies in a good old fashioned troll. So if you'd like to do a trolling session with me, let me show you guys how this works. It is actually quite simple, and yet it is very impossible to do without this technique. You cannot put spiderwebs under a block of water like this naturally without knowing a few tricks or two. So I have a few tricks for you guys today, so let's check this out. I'll show you guys how it works. So if I try to do this manually and cover it up with sand, as you can see, when I disturb that block of water, it will disturb the water. Therefore, rendering this tutorial useless. As you can see, I cannot even put spiderwebs underneath that block at all. It's just not possible. So how is it done? Well, you guessed it, guys. I'm using obsidian and I'm using an ice block. And I'm going to use glowstone so I can melt that ice block. And then I'm going to get some cobwebs and whack it underneath. Now, test this out with your friends. And uh, the thing is, guys, if you make hundreds of these on your map, like in a desert or something, and have lots of holes, and there's like water underneath, like, they're bound to jump in one of them eventually. And you can, yeah, you can really hurt them. So, yeah, this is pretty funny, guys. So, now I just need to melt this. As you can see, I've whacked it all in place like this. And I'm using sand to cover it up. Okay, so I'm going to make this look more like a desert, so it's unconspicuous inconspicuating and then yeah let's melt this ice block real quick actually yeah you know what no we don't need a bucket of water you know what guys we're gonna have to actually uh reconfigure this i don't want any blocks actually touching this ice at all or it won't work so make sure that completely free from touching it doesn't like to be touched by the other blocks so stop okay so now i'm gonna replace it with obsidian behind the blocks like this The reason for that is to stop people from escaping, believe it or not. Okay, so you can put that everywhere around here real quick. And there we go. Okay, now let's cover up with a combination of soul sand and normal sand. And voila! Complete death trap. Once you fall into this, guys, I don't think you understand. Once you fall into this hole, there is no way out. You're dead. You're fucking dead! Zero <laughs> how it works so now I'm in here and I'm drowning very slowly very slowly and if I try to break the soul sand obviously I will be able to so just replace it with a harder block make sure it's obsidian or something else like that and before I could even realize what's happening and try to break the cobweb underneath I will drown very very slowly quickly enough time that I would drown without knowing it slowly but quick enough that I didn't have to think quick Oh man, I am getting too old for this shit. I'll see you guys next week.